Hi everyone, my name is Lucas Jennings and I'm from the Data School's 21st cohort. Um, today I'm going to show you how to switch chart types using parameter actions in Tableau. Now this is a really useful feature for giving the user uh, multiple chart types on a dashboard to choose from without having to sacrifice any space or cluttering the viz. So let's jump into Tableau and get started. So firstly, I need to create three separate charts. So I'm going to start by building a very simple scatter chart. I'm going to drag some of sales up to columns and some of profit onto rows. I'll drag order ID onto detail and let's change the mark type to a circle. I'm then going to make a line chart and for this we are going to use continuous quarters and the sum of sales. My final chart for this example will be a very basic map. So I'm going to open the location hierarchy, double click on state, and then drag sum of sales onto color. So now we have our three chart types to choose from. I then need to go ahead and create my parameter. Now I'm going to call this parameter select a chart. The data type will be a string and we will be using a list. The first value will be the scatter, then the line, and finally the map. So now we've built our parameter, we now have to link this to the viz. So to do this, I'm simply going to create a calculated field called selected chart type. And this is simply going to just consist of the parameter. I'm going to go back to my scatter graph. Let's make that entire view. And I want to show my parameter and I need to make sure that the scatter option has been selected. So I'm going to drag my selected chart type onto the filters and I'm just going to tick the box that says scatter. I'm then going to go onto my line graph. I'm going to make sure that my parameter is showing once more. And this time I want the, the line option to be selected. I'm going to do the exact same thing and drag the selected chart type calculated field onto the filter shelf. This time I'm going to tick the line option. Finally, I'm just going to repeat the exact same steps for the map. Make sure that map is selected on the parameter and then drag the calculated field onto the filter shelf and make sure that map has been ticked. So now we have a fully working parameter that links the correct chart type to the parameter option. I'm now going to create a sheet called select a chart. And this is going to use three different shapes or buttons to drive the change using the parameter actions to be able to allow the user to select their desired chart type. Now to do this, we need to create three separate calculated fields. And it's simply just the string of each option in the parameter. Now we need to make sure that the string written in the calculated field matches up to how we have it written in the parameter. So just make sure everything's case sensitive. And that should be fine. OK, now we have these three calculated fields ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create three dummy placeholders in my column shelf. So I'm going to do the average of zero the average of 0, 0.0 
and the average of 0 0.00. Now they have to be different, so Tableau recognizes them as um, different uh, fields on the column shelf. Okay, now we want these to be three different shapes. So on my first uh, placeholder shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag uh, the scatter calculated field string onto shape. I'm going to do the same thing on the next one, but with line. And then finally, using map. Now I'm going to edit these shapes using a um, custom image that I downloaded. You can do this quite easily on Google Images. Um, so we want a scatter image for this button to work. So I'm just going to select this one here. I'm going to do the exact same thing and edit the line shape using these custom made chart images. There we go. Just going to do a little bit of formatting. Let's go ahead and make that entire view. And maybe, yeah, let's make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Cool. There we have our three chart type buttons that will be used to um, parameterize the chart selection. So let's go ahead and build a dashboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag on a hor horizontal uh, container. I'm going to bring on my scatter plot. Let's get rid of that parameter because we have our button sheet, which will be driving the change for the parameter action. Now it's important that I get rid of all the titles, so I'm just going to select hide title. And that way Tableau gets rid of all the excess space. We then want our select chart type sheet at the top. We'll just make that a little bit smaller. There we go. Just get rid of these labels. There's no point having them duplicated. OK, now we want to create our dashboard actions. So I need to create a parameter action, which is going to link up each button to the selected chart type. So let's start with the scatter. Now my source sheet will always be the select a chart type sheet. My parameter is going to be select a chart and my field is going to be scatter. I'm going to repeat the exact same process for the line chart making sure that the select a chart sheet is my source sheet. Select a chart is my parameter. And that the line is the field. Finally, for the map, untick the other three sheets. select a chart parameter, and then the map field. So let's go ahead and see if that works now. We are currently on the map. Let's see what happens if I select the line chart, and then the scatter chart. And there we have a nice chart switching dashboard, which uh, totally saves space for the user, but it still gives them three options to view data. So thank you for watching this video, and I hope you now feel more confident in creating a chart switcher using parameter actions in Tableau. Please check the description of this video for links to any additional materials that you might find helpful, 
If you did enjoy this video, I think you'd really love this video on how to build multiple map layers. Now this is a new feature in Tableau 2020.4. So click on the link on the screen to watch it next and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks guys.